Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talk Sport. In this one, just doing a video regarding Ryan Fraser. Obviously, he was a player we was heavily linked with in the summer, and at one point it seemed like he was going to be our, our maybe our only signing and only kind of big signing. Obviously, that didn't turn out to be the case. You know, he in the end went out and you know put seventy two million on Nicolas Pepe, and. You know, he, Fraser hasn't really gone on to have the best of seasons this season with Bournemouth. Again, Bournemouth haven't gone on to have the best of seasons. You know, they're currently, um, I think, just above the relegation zone. But, you know, they're, they're nowhere near safe from relegation yet and potentially could still get relegated. So, um, you know, Fraser's contract's um, due to expire at the end of the season. And the question I'm asking in this one is, would you take him on a free? Um, obviously, he's a winger, um, predominantly a right winger. Um, looking at him, I he would more or less, if he, if he was to take him on a free, he'd be a squad player, in my opinion. You know, you look at the um, players we have available there. Obviously, Pepe, um, the main man. Um, Nelson also went once he's back from injury. Um so the thing is, would it be would he even feature? Um, you know, he, he might become a, a bit of a bit part player. Um, for me, I I would potentially take him on a loan, um, not on a loan on a free. My apologies for that. I'll take him on a free transfer, uh, potentially if we could put him on a three year contract. Um, but it obviously would depend on what sort of wages he would be expecting. Um, the last talks I saw was that Bournemouth was going to offer him around 100k a week. Um, obviously, that would be a bit ridiculous, you know, if we could put him on maybe 60k a week for the three-year three year deal. Um, I'd definitely look at taking him as a as a bit of experience and as a bit part player, squad player. But that's just my opinion on it. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button now and I'll catch you next time.